we'll guide you through how to make an All The Mods 10 Minecraft server. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. With this, you can then go and play with your friends on the mod pack. So we'll guide you through this step by step. To get started, let's go and quit the game. Here we are on the desktop. What you need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice. And what we need to do is go and get a launcher. That launcher is called Curse Forge. Go and search for it and go to curseforge.com. And then what you can do is go to the top right and press get Curse Forge app and you can press download standalone. This will download and you then need to go and install the launcher just like you would any other app and go through the process. You can press next and go through it. Now I actually already have it, so I'll exit it, but I said in your case, you need to install it. And then once you've got it, you can go and open it up. It's important to note that for this to work, you need to have Minecraft installed on your computer, otherwise it won't. Here we are in Curse Forge, you come to the left and go and select Minecraft. If you can't go and see it here, you need to go and press the plus and you can go and do a scan. And if that doesn't work, you can manually go and add it, then go and select it. You can go and see here, I've got quite a few mod packs. This is because I've gone and used it before, but you may not have any, it doesn't matter. So to get started, we need to go and get all the mods 10 installed just on our computer for us on the client side. So at the top, you can go and type in all the mods 10 like so and go and search for it. And then what you can do is scroll down and you can go and find it. As you can see, here it is. If we go to the right, you'll go and see mine says play. But if you haven't got it yet, we'll go and say install. So you can go and install it. Then once you've done that, it's going to go and appear in my mod packs. You can go and play it. But of course, just doing that means we're playing by yourself. To go and make the server, what you need to do is go and search for it again and go and find it. Here it is and go and click on it. To the left of the play button, you've got the server pack icon. So what we can do is go and click on download server pack like so. This will go and open up and a download is going to go and begin. You can go and see this is about a gigabyte. So what you need to do is go and wait for it to finish downloading and we can then go and start the install process. With this guide, the server is going to be hosted on your computer. Now this isn't always ideal because it means the computer will need to be running and running the server for the server to be on. People will be joining your network, which isn't always ideal either. And there are other things as well. So a great alternative is the sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting. There we can go and host an all the mods 10 server and they've got so many great benefits. If we scroll down, one click install mod packs, which is what we can use. DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, many other great benefits as well. So what you could do is go and press get started. We can go and select Java edition, read through and work out what you need. In this case, I'll go and get the eight gigabyte option and go and press order now. And then what you can do here is we can go and choose the all the mods 10 version. We can always go and change this later. So for server version, I could go and type in all the mods 10. As you can see, there it is. We can then purchase the server, host it on your own computer. You need to come to your downloads and open that up and go and find the pack we just downloaded. Drag this onto your desktop. Now what you need to do is go and right click on it and we need to go and press extract all and press extract again. Wait for this to complete. It's now completed and we've got the folder. So what you can do is go and double click on the folder just like so. And what you need to do is go and find the option start server.bat. What you can do is go and double click on it. I've had this security pop up here. I'll press more info and press run anyway as I go and trust it. Then it's going to go and run through as you can see. It's going to go and start downloading a load of different things. So what you need to do is go and be patient here. It's going to run through. You may not quite understand what's happening, but it's just downloading what it needs essentially. While this runs through, if you come back to the folder, you may notice that it starts going to generate more files and folders as well, which is a good sign. If you find you get some type of error here, this is because you don't have the Java development kit or JDK installed. So to go and fix this, go and open up a web browser and come to a search engine. What you want to do is go and search for Java and go to java.com. Then what you can do is you can go and download Java just for desktops as well. I've actually already got that installed, but you can download that and install it. But the main thing we're looking for is developer downloads. So click here, select JDK 21 like so and select Windows. And then you can find the X64 installer and go and click on it. Now this is going to go and download. I found that if you've got JDK 24 installed, you may need to go and uninstall that and have just JDK 21 installed. So you can go and do that. But now let's go and install JDK 21. We can select it and press yes. And we can then go through the install process. If you're struggling to go and find the installer in your browser, just open up your file explorer and go to your downloads. It's now successfully installed. And what we can do is come and return here and run run.bat. That's now been successful. What we need to do is go and close out of this and we need to find the EULA. This is essentially the terms. So double click on it to open it up. What you can do is go and copy and paste this link into a browser and you can go through them. 
If you go and agree to it, you can then go and change false to true, like so. You can press file in the top left and press save and close this. Then come back and find run.bat and double click it. And it will then go and start running again and it will go uncomplete. While we wait for this to go and finish, what you can do is come back to CurseForge and you can select Minecraft to the left. As I said, make sure you've got all the mods 10 installed and you can then go and click on it and you can click on play in the top right. Now this is going to go and launch. Now in the meantime as well, you're going to have this pop up. This is the Minecraft server. As you can see, go and press multiplayer and what you can do is go and press add server. Now, because we're hosting this on our computer, what we can do is go and type in localhost and we can go and press done and we've now added it. Select it and you can press join server. Here we are, I've now successfully connected to the server as you can see. If you want other people to go and join it, i.e. your friends, you've got a few different options for that. The first way being and the most popular port forwarding. This basically allows us to go and give people our IP address and they can then go and connect it. The general rule for this is that you should only give people your IP address who you'd invite around your house. Alternatively, there is an application you can go and use. I made a few videos on about making your server available to the public and people outside of your network. But alternatively, you can always go and use Apex, which is the sponsor of today's video.